Hi, my name's Anna Thurgood and I work here at State Library of Queensland. I'm the curator of 20, two decades of Queensland photography, the library's first ever fully digital online only exhibition. Before the coronavirus pandemic interrupted all our lives, 20 was going to be displayed in our large gallery on level two. I was so excited at the prospect of curating a photography exhibition, mainly because we don't often get to view photographs as physical prints anymore. But it wasn't to be. After some initial disappointment, the move to digital proved enticing, opening up new possibilities and opportunities. State Library has been a key collector of Queensland's cultural and documentary heritage for many years and is well known for its massive photography collection, especially the historic photos. One aspect of the collection that really excites me is the fact that the photographic collection is so vast and so deeply embedded in the fabric of the library itself, no one really knows how many photographs there are. Some old timers who've worked at the library for many years have told me they estimate the entire photographic collection to be around five to 600,000. I've heard 750,000 and I've heard a million. It's a vast and astonishing visual archive that charts the history of Queensland from settlement and proclamation on. Although our collecting continues, the library's contemporary collections are not as well known. The idea for an exhibition drawn from these collections had been floating around for some years, and it was decided last year that we needed to bring these collections into the light, so to speak, and so this exhibition was born. The first thing we had to work out was what is contemporary? Opinions differ on this topic. Some say it includes anything from 1980 onwards, some say it's anything from the last 10, 15, or even five years. But as the exhibition would be seen in 2020, I thought 20 years seemed fitting. After all, the year 2000 was the start of a new century and a new millennium. It's a long enough period to be able to highlight the changes in society and the momentous events we've witnessed, and short enough to be in our collective recent memory. When you stop and think about how much has changed over that time, from the invention of social media to marriage equality being achieved, it's mind boggling. Even the field of photography itself has undergone huge changes from analog to digital for the most part. And the rise of smartphone technology has made us all photographers to some extent. In 2020, this moment, especially this moment as it turns out, it's an ideal time to pause and reflect on the start of this new era. It raised so many questions for me. Has our idea of Queensland changed? Do we still see ourselves as banana benders, larger than life characters inhabiting a wild and inhospitable landscape? Are we still behind the times and deeply conservative? Or do we see ourselves differently now? Do we think of ourselves as innovators and world leaders? Are we more open and tolerant? Looking back at the first two decades of this new century through the photographs we've collected, how will we be seen by future generations? But I suppose the real question I wanted to explore through this exhibition is not how do others see us, but how do we see ourselves? Photographs are the perfect medium to survey our lives over that time. They not only capture a moment in time, they are carriers of our memories and bring with them a sense of nostalgia for a time that is gone, never to be repeated. Their stillness gives you the space to think and feel and react. Documentary photographs have even been known to cause social change because of their sheer power. Some photographs in our collection carry that kind of weight, but many others are just as beautiful for their subtle simplicity. These collections really are a treasure trove of the human condition, our relationship with the land and each other, and how that is expressed in the state of Queensland. My approach to this exhibition was fairly simple. I decided to use a chronological framework to really let the photographs speak for themselves. I believed that the images would reveal the true story of Queensland over the last 20 years. It would be possible to see the things that have changed dramatically, as well as those that haven't changed very much and are still familiar and recognisable. There would be themes that would emerge and different sorts of connections between photographs would become apparent. It might be possible to see the changing trends in photography over that time. And while some of these things I thought should be made explicit, I felt others should be left unmentioned so audiences could make their own connections and draw their own conclusions. 
And so the real work began, sifting through hundreds, even thousands of photographs, not really knowing where to start, so just starting at the year 2000, using not only the catalogue, but drawing on the collective wealth of knowledge held by my colleagues. Everyone here at the library has their favourite collections, as well as those they consider important or significant. Originally, when the exhibition was going to be in the gallery, I set myself the goal of selecting 200 photographs for display. Fortunately for me, the move to digital afforded the opportunity of including more, because after months of research, I ended up with well over 500 photographs, obviously far too many. So then began the serious task of culling images, whittling the selection down to include the strongest, the most striking and significant photographs, both powerful and subtle, which tell the story of the diverse Queensland experience, while also striving to retain the mix of photographers I wanted, female voices, multicultural voices, regional voices, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander voices, was very difficult. After much agonising, it was so hard to let some images go. I settled upon 270 photographs, which I felt still reflected the intent of the exhibition I set out to present. Themes did emerge, as I expected. Within the exhibition, you will find pages devoted to community, politics and people power, arts and celebration, working life, architecture, wild weather and beyond Brisbane, or the rest of Queensland outside of the southeast. In a physical gallery, the photographs most likely would have been grouped into these thematic areas, but this is one of those opportunities I spoke of. With a digital exhibition, you can have both an individual image view and thematic groupings. It was important to me also to give space to the photographers' voices. The theme pages also highlight individual stories mostly told from the photographer's perspective. Many photographers sent me written statements which will also appear in the exhibition at some stage. One thing I noticed during the research and selection process is that there are gaps in the story and how that story has been told. There are certain people, places and events missing. There are far more male photographers than female. There are far more photographers from South East Queensland than anywhere else in the state. There are some photographers whose work has been acquired far more than others. And probably the biggest gap of all, the collection features hardly any work by Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander photographers, although Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and communities feature strongly as subjects. But the library's collections also have incredible strengths. Politics is one of those, as is the representation of rural, regional and remote Queensland. Live music and festivals are another, and architecture features strongly as well. While the library mostly gets a delicate balance of collecting documentary photographs right, I believe 20 will be a catalyst for some small but important changes to our approach. We have already acquired new collections that begin to address those missing people, places and events. We are also working with a range of new photographers that more accurately reflect the society in which we live, giving people more agency over documenting their own stories. The photographic collections we acquire, preserve and provide open access to for the people of Queensland will benefit as a result. In the end, I'm very proud of this exhibition. I think the mix is right and together these photographs tell a powerful story, who we were, who we are and who we might become. There is a rhythm to the images when viewed together. There are connections to be made and themes to be explored. The photographs reward a longer, closer look, but I also want to point out what you'll see in the exhibition is just the tip of the iceberg. So while I hope you enjoy browsing, I also would encourage you to delve deeper within the exhibition and beyond. Explore the library's collection and photography more broadly. See the stories we and so many others are trying to tell. This gives you an introduction to the exhibition. There is also going to be a series of behind the lens curators talks over the five Thursdays in July featuring interviews with photographers featured in the exhibition and including a live Q&A session to be broadcast on social media. Sign up to our newsletters, visit our website or even better, become a member. It's free to find out the details. You can also contribute your memories from the last 20 years through our social media channels. We'd love to hear from you. Finally, I'd like to thank everyone involved in making this exhibition a digital reality. 
So many teams across the library have worked tirelessly on 20, our first ever fully digital exhibition. From the state librarian and CEO to teams from all departments, it seems everyone has contributed in some way. Thank you. I hope you enjoy 22 decades of Queensland photography.